Hello very good morning and welcome to Adavan News Paper Highlights. Today Tuesday 30th of August 2016. This is Edward Udeda Stavas Kayam Pillai with the highlights of today's English newspapers. As usual we have three newspapers for the highlights. Daily Mirror, Daily News and Salon Today. Firstly let's have a look on the Daily Mirror. The main headline says Government to discuss peace building fund with UNSG. The government will discuss the setting up of a multi-million dollar peace building fund PBF for Sri Lanka sponsored by the UN during the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon's 3-day visit to the country a senior foreign affairs ministry source said yesterday Deputy Foreign Minister Harshadi Silva told Daily Mirror that the objectives of the PBF was to ensure fast and flexible funding in support of various peace building and reconciliation efforts in Sri Lanka New constitution will recognize Sri Lankan's unity in diversity. The new draft constitution is likely to be tabled in parliament before the 2017 budget, Foreign Affairs Minister Mangala Samaravira said, adding he hoped it would celebrate Sri Lanka's unity in diversity. He said this at a meeting in Point Petro on Sunday. According to the PTI, the minister had highlighted the recognition of religious diversity in Sri Lanka when formulating the new constitution. We have been busy creating or placing a foundation for a new Sri Lanka based on the three pillars of democratization, reconciliation and development. Venerable Uduwe seeks court permission to travel abroad. Matter referred to the Attorney General. The prosecution was yesterday directed to pursue the documents filed by Venerable Uduwe Damalok Thera in court seeking permission to travel abroad. High Court Judge Nishang Bandlu Nanekara requested Senior State Counsel Janak Bandara to inform court of the AG's stance on the request to go abroad to attend a religious conference in Britain. Three protesters who hooted at minister arrested. Two women and a man were arrested on charges of jeering and booting at Minister John Amaratunga during a foundation stone laying ceremony at a Tamil school in Oliyamulla, Vattala on Saturday. The Vattala police had to escort the minister away from the scene. The people had opposed the plan to put up a building for a Tamil school on a block of land that had been earlier reserved for a playground. Though the police stopped the protesters. from entering the building site they had forced their way into the premises and interrupted the minister's speech by hooting and booing secondly let's move to daily news president's website hacker was a teen suspect who gained access on friday had deleted some data a 17 year old student from kadugannava was yesterday arrested for hacking president maithripala sirisena's official website a special cid team attached to the cyber crimes unit made the arrest after two days of investigations into the incident Another highlight says with a picture fire at port rubber dump a fire broke out at a rubber dump at the eastern terminal of the Colombo harbor yesterday the fire brigade with the support of Colombo port fire unit and police doused the fire a port authority spokesman said that no damage was caused to authority properties grave injustice to SLFPs during MR's rule Eknayaka says, UN peers admitted to government ministry portfolios offered to them. A grave injustice was caused to original and genuine SLF peers during the Mahinda Rajapaksa regime due to the admission of UN peers to the government by offering them ministry portfolios, Central Province Chief Minister Sarath Eknayaka said. Two dead, one injured in Katnayaka Expressway crash. Two persons died and another seriously injured when a car went out of control and crashed into an electricity post at the Jaila entrance of the Colombo Katnayaka Expressway early yesterday. Finally, let's move to Ceylon today. The main headline says 700 million rupees People's Bank IT scam. Prime Minister intervenes. All documents and written evidence pertaining to the controversial 700 million rupees IT project were handed over to Prime Minister Ranil Wickremesinghe yesterday. Two board members of the People's Bank who were amongst those who challenged the proposed project to buy hardware for the digitalization of the bank had personally gone to the PM's office yesterday morning and handed over the documents. These two board members have also disclosed to the PM that a high-ranking government official is behind the scam. Suleiman's murder planned for months. 
Police have received information that the murder of millionaire businessman Muhammad Sulaiman of Colombo 4 had been carried out after being planned over several months. Sources said Sulaiman's killers had even attempted to bury the evidence so that the police would have been left with no clue to locate them. According to police, they are currently examining the CCTV footage of 200 cameras that have been set up from Colombo 4 to Colombo 6, from Colombo 4 to Colombo 3 and from Kegol to Mawanilla and Hemadagama respectively. U.S. 7th Fleet Ship Here for Refueling the 500 crew U.S. submarine servicing ship USS Frank Cable AS40, which is deployed with the U.S. 5th and 7th Fleet, now covering the entire Indo Asia Pacific region, which embraces Lankan waters under the recently accomplished mutual defense agreement, arrived in Sri Lanka for a routine refueling and a port visit yesterday. With that, let's come to an end of today's paper highlights. We will come with more news tomorrow morning. Thanks for listening to other newspaper highlights.